in about three months' time, he lost 30 pounds in weight loss. And he told me he had never been able to lose that type of weight since he was in his 40s. A recent story I want to kind of share, I had a patient, male, he was in about his early 60s. He came in and he wanted to lose some weight. He tried everything, tried a little different fad diets, tried, you know, the keto diet. He's tried the Weight Watchers diet. He did a low calorie diet, you know, increasing exercise. And none of it seemed to help him. Uh, he just was getting frustrated. And he was in his early 60s and just like, okay, is it just because I'm getting old? And it is true, when we get older, our metabolism rate does go down, unfortunately. But fasting can help increase that over time. So really trying to, that's what I like about fasting is it shows in research that the, our metabolic rate, and they've shown studies even just within month comparison studies, that's increased at 30% metabolic rate versus the low calorie diet where it decreased at about 40% <coughs> of the metabolic rate in humans. So we decided, you know, we started off on very simple intermittent fasting, just doing very simple intermittent fasting to start off with. We're eating in an eight hour window frame, fasting 16 hours a day. Then we upped it up where we had him skip about two meals, two to three times out of the week. Eventually we had to start him doing 24 to 36 hour water fast, about two times out of the week. And in about three months time, he lost 30 pounds in weight loss. And he told me he had never been able to lose that type of weight since he was in his 40s. So you gotta take that picture because that is not the same guy. <laughs> well, he got really younger too. <laughs> his skin was bright and his hair was all slick and brown, you know. That's, that takes some benefit. <laughs> That's the only picture I could find. <laughs> so, but, you know, even, and then also even following up after a couple months even later, he was still losing a little weight. And we cut back on the extreme of the fast, but it's still doing a maintenance type of fasting for him to keep the weight off and still losing a little bit as he was going along. Do you mind repeating that real quick? You started, you, you would eat with an eight hour period, fasting yep. 16 hours, and then what did you say after that? So after, yeah, so an eight hour window frame, and then we started having to do skipping two meals a day, what we call as the OMAD or one meal a day. Had him do that about two times out of the week. Then we moved, bumped it up where he would do 24 to 36 hours, two to three times a week. So, and everybody is different um, because people who've experienced fasting for the first time, and that's what we do here at Nature Health Clinic is guide people through fasting to make sure that they, first off, what conditions that they're coming in. Because there is diff, everybody has different conditions um, and they simply can struggle with fasting if they're not careful. And we usually do a lot of different testing, metabolic testing, looking at blood work to kind of first before we even jump into fasting. So that way we know where we're at. The other thing I forgot to mention is he was, he, he was hypertension, he was on blood pressure medications. He also was on cholesterol medications. And we were able to deplete him off the cholesterol medications. His cholesterol levels coming down as well, as well as cut back on his blood pressure medications because his blood pressures were coming down. That's the benefits you could see from fasting, especially as you're seeing the weight come off. So that's, you know, the other, another story I have got, I have a little time more here too. Uh, another story I want to share is another patient I had, a lady that came in, and she dealt with weight issues all her life. She's never found success of losing, I mean, the most she said she was able to find herself was like three or five pounds at the most. And she's tried all the diets. I mean, we went through all the list. I mean, you name it, she did it. And she'd find a little bit of success and just nothing. And frustrated because she had dealt with this for most of her life. And, sh you know, pretty much similarly, we, we looked at, okay, looking at first her metabolism. There's a few things that we needed to adjust. One, very low energy. And that can be an issue for people when they dealing with low energy. And a lot of people can have adrenal issues, fatigue, other hormone imbalances. So she had some hormone dis dysregulation with uh, some estrogen progesterone levels as well as some thyroid issues that we kind of, peripheral thyroid issues. So what I mean by peripheral thyroid issues, it isn't necessarily they have a thyroid hormone balance, but sometimes the peripheral thyroids that deal with our thyroid hormones uh, can be out of balance. So by adjusting those, but also implementing the fasting, she was able within just a month lose 15 pounds. And she's like, I've never been able to lose this, ever. And so just, just implementing simple things. I mean, if you think about it, <clears throat> 
If you were to ask like a three, four, five year old, ask him, how would you lose weight? You know, you ask him, probably a common answer you would get is like, just don't eat or skip a meal or something. That's probably what you would get because a lot of these kids don't understand all the other crazy fat diets. But as true as that is, I mean, it is as simple as that is, is, you know, truth be told, we've just complicated it and sold it millions of different ways and just made us all confused of how to lose weight. But it really goes back down to the basics, understanding it's a hormone issue. So we understand now it's a hormone issue. And now we understand how to actually change that through fasting. Then we can, it helps us motivate to actually continue with it. Okay.